In this video, we're going to look at editing some text. First, we need a text layer to edit. So let's open Actions, then Add, and Add Text. Make some words so that we have something to edit. Once we have some text down, we can adjust the stylings of that text by tapping the Edit Style button just here. And we can return to the keyboard with the button here on the opposite side. Down the left side here, we can choose from our different installed fonts and the different styles for those fonts. Let's just give ourselves a bit more room to play. On the right, we can change the text alignment and we can toggle underline, outline, and all caps. Here in the middle under design, we have all the usual offenders. First, we can adjust the size of our text. Next down, we can adjust the kerning between letters. Next we have tracking, so we can adjust the spacing evenly across an entire selection while respecting the kerning adjustments that we've just made. Here we can adjust the leading between our lines. Next down we can adjust the baseline of our selected text. So let's just push up the second half of this first word. And at the bottom of our list we can adjust the opacity of our selected text. Whenever we tap a cursor or create a new selection field, we get a few familiar options along the top, like copy, cut and paste, as well as paste with format, which is quite handy. Unlike paste, which will only paste the text, paste with format includes all of our style adjustments as well. Let's change gears a bit and we'll jump into our layers. We can see by this text icon that this is an active text layer and can still be edited if we did want to rasterize this text. We can do that from inside the layer options just here. Now let's undo this for now and we'll take a look at the actions that will automatically rasterize a text layer. Using transform we can make uniform and non-uniform transforms and we can rotate our text as usual. However, if we perform a shear, distort, a warp or a liquify to our text layer and then commit that change, then the text will be rasterized and can no longer be edited and we get a notification at the top of our canvas in red telling us that this has happened. Now if we take a look back in our layers, the text icon has been replaced with the usual preview thumbnail 